Cassie and welcome to another installment of Cassie Tries Celebrity Workouts. And today we're doing one of my newest favorite people, Meghan Markle. We're gonna get that Meghan Markle sparkle on today and I just really fell in love with her. Um, with all, that whole media push, like before the wedding and now after the wedding and she's just so beautiful. And I love that we have a biracial princess, which so is not really a princess, she's a duchess, but to me, she's like our American princess. And I love the royals, I love Britain, I love everything, and I love talking in a British accent. So the whole thing is just amazing. Plus, her arms look so good in her reception dress. I know everyone is hating on her ceremony dress, but she likes it, okay? Let her do her thing. She walked down the aisle with confidence, looked amazing, and she's married to a man that loves her, and she loves him. Well, this is as far as I know, but they always look so perfect together in every picture. Do you guys ever wonder why you never see bad photos of the royals? Like, do you think they have some weird connection with the press in the UK where you just like cannot release a bad picture of a royal? I don't know, I think it's really weird. Anyway, otherwise, Megan just looks perfect all the time, and I'm so excited to try out her workout, which comes from her trainer in Canada named Craig McNamee. And he says that she does this routine when he used to train her um, three to four times a week. She does a few circuits of it. Starts out with um, a five minute cardio warm up, then five minute dynamic stretching, a 30 minute circuit like we're doing today, then ends with five minutes of stretching. So in today's Meghan Markle arms and total body workout, what you're going to need is a bench, a kettlebell. I have a 12 kilogram one here um, and two light, light-ish weight dumbbells. So Craig's strategy is really like a high rep, low weight strategy. Um, so we're gonna give that a try. And also you'll need a TRX. Now, if you're at home and you don't have access to a gym, no worries, I can give you all the at-home modifications so you can get your Meghan Markle sparkle on. Okay, you guys? And um, I'm excited to get started. Let's see if I die. First move, we have our rear foot elevated split squat. We're gonna do 20 each, okay? So, you're gonna place one leg here. And as I'm doing these celebrity workouts, I notice that everyone really likes this Bulgarian split squat move. I mean, it's awesome. Okay, so place your foot on here. If you're at home, simply put it on your couch or chair without wheels, okay? And then if you don't have dumbbells, no worries. Just move your arms up. All right, you guys, here we go for 20. And we're lifting up and down. There we go up and down so you're working your shoulders you're working your butt you're working your quads i'm really actually feeling my hip stretch too and down so there you go nice and slow and controlled so as far as what your low weight is that is totally up to you um, you're gonna have to figure out what that is for yourself but we're gonna get through 20 of these and you should be struggling in the last three to five reps. Three to five reps should be difficult. Whoo, but I'm feeling it right now. All right, keep going. And lift and lower. Stay strong now. Up and down. Oh gosh, I'm feeling this. Lift and lower. Whoo, no wonder Megan has such great arms. Up and down, you got five more. Five. Take your time, you don't wanna go fast. Four, relax your shoulders, relax your neck. Three, come on. Whew. Two, one more. One, and down. Wow, you guys. Okay, so I feel like the 10 pound for a 20 rep move is a little bit on the high end for me, but now that I've got the 10 pounder, I'm gonna stick to it. I think a 7.5 might've been better for this. Um, but anyway, don't know till you push yourself, right? Okay, other side. I feel like my shoulder's gonna fall off now. Okay, here we go. You're right here, and let's get 20. One, whoa, almost fell. <laughs> okay, two, nice, whew, taking your time. Exhale up, inhale down. Nice work. Lift and lower. Notice how my back stays tall. Up 
and down. Whew. My legs are feeling hard. They feel strong. Oh gosh, I'm burning. Whew. Lift and lower. Let's do this. Up and down. You got this. And go at your own pace, okay? And down. Let's go. Up and lower. I am suffering through this, you guys. This is not easy. Five more. Five. Come on. Four. Good. Three. Last two. One more. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. My arms are feeling it. My legs are feeling it. Okay, that was really good. Next, we have our single-legged kettlebell lift. So, um, this is a version of a deadlift, you guys. So, I'm gonna raise my back leg right here. And we're gonna do same arm, same leg. So we're right here, slight bend in the knee. You're gonna come down as low as you can. You're gonna lift up, whoo, right there, okay? To standing. 420, let's go. We're down, and then we're up. This is really gonna work your glutes and your hamstrings. Good. Oh, I'm so happy to give my arms a break. That was hard. That was really, really hard. Down and up. I am feeling my shoulders vibrating. We're down and up. Come on. Low and lift. Just a slight bend in the knee. Nice work. Now you're controlling your core. You're working your abs as you're doing this. And do you feel your booty? Because I do. Nice work. And if you're at home right now, you can still do the same move. You just don't need to hold the kettlebell. You can still reach for the floor and make sure your back stays straight, okay? Woo! Let that burn. Keep going. Down. Ah! And up. Taking your time. Good. Five more. And five. Oh gosh. I am feeling it. Four. Almost there. Three. Oh gosh, you guys, I'm suffering. Oh, two. One more. One. Oh my gosh. You guys. My butt is dying, and now we have the other side. <laughs> okay, here we go. Switching, switching the hands. All right, you guys, let's do this. In three, two, one, let's hit it. We're down, we're up. Taking your time. Oh, fresh legs feels good. Yep, it's amazing how painful wow, some of this stuff can really be especially when you're just working so hard, you're focusing so hard. It's okay, that's how you get stronger. And up. You're down, take your time. And lift up. Now I can tell you that these moves are so effective because you're working so many different muscle groups at the same time. And anytime you can work your balance, even better. That's working those mini abdominal muscles so you don't even think about. Come down and lift up. Whoa, come on. And lift down and up. Take your time now. Press your foot into the floor. Come on, coming down and lift. Point the toes, extend. And up, let's go. Oh my gosh, I can tell I'm gonna be so sore after this. Five more. Five. A oh, little lower, guys, come on. I'm telling myself this. 
four. These are challenging. When you choose a weight that's a little heavy, it's gonna be even more challenging, a couple more. And last one. Gosh, my feet hurt too. And we're down and we're up. Oh my gosh, that is legit. Okay, you guys, next move, we have Ohio step ups. Okay, I feel like I'm already sweating and now we have to do step ups. Oh, 20 each side. So you are on your bench. If you are at home, you don't need to step up. Unless you have a staircase, you can step on that. But basically, you can come up just like that without the staircase. All right. I am not excited about this. Um, but I guess if you want to be a royal, if you want to be a duchess like Meghan Markle, that's what you're going to do. Okay? That's what you're going to do. Anyway, this is what she did for a few years in Canada when she was training while she was on um, the Suits series. I don't know what she's actually doing right now at the palace. Okay, here we go. And we are one and two and three, just like that. Four, really lifting up. These aren't so bad. Nice, really get that lift. Bring your knee up to your chest. Focus. Up and down. And lift and down. And up, kind of like a superman, superwoman. Mm -hmm. Lifting, there is so much lower body work going on right now. Five more, five, four, three, two, one more, one. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so tired. Okay, now we have to do the other side. Get it together, we got this. Other side, in three, two, I like to count myself down so I can just go. One, here we go. Up, oh, I forgot the hop. And we hop, there we go. Woo. Lift. Woo. And you know what, if you do wanna skip the hop, that's okay too. You guys, you can work up to it. But today, I have chosen to completely smash this workout, give it everything I have. Up and down, and lift. And down. Up. Focus. You've got this. Oh gosh, I feel my butt muscles really working. Five more. Five. Four. Three. Almost there. Two. One more. One. Oh my gosh, okay. The legs are on fire. The heart rate is up. And now we head into our TRX tricep extension. So if you have a TRX, go grab it. If you don't, which I assume most of us may not, you're gonna go ahead and put your hands on the edge of a bench or a chair without wheels. I feel like I always have to say the without wheels part because some people might just grab a computer chair and that's gonna be really dangerous. Hands are right behind the hips or right by the hips. Shoulders rolling back. Make sure that your back is sliding against the edge of the bench as your elbows are tracking backwards like that. Okay, so that's gonna be your tricep dip while I do these tricep TRX extensions. So go ahead and grab onto the TRX. Woo! And what you're gonna do is you are going to find yourself at a slight angle, like this, okay? And you're gonna tuck the tailbone in, you're gonna drop the elbows, you're gonna lift up and straighten, okay? So when you do that, you're really targeting the tricep. Whew, we're gonna do 20 of them. Let's go ahead and do this. Hands up, feet back, leaning forward, 20, here we go. Dip, and one, dip and two, very good. Dip, and three. I love these because they're also stretching out my shoulders. And press, Whew. 
and lift. Very good, guys. Down and push. These are not easy. And if you do want to make them a little bit easier, you can step forward a little bit like that. If they're not as hard, or you can step back to make them a lot harder. I mean, it makes a huge difference where you're placing your foot. Back and forward. And try to keep that neck in line with your spine, in line with everything else. Here we go. Down and push. You've got five more. It's five. Come on. And four. Be strong. And three. Last two. And one more. You can hear me breathing hard. This is not easy. And up and back. Whoo! Okay, you guys, we made it to our last move, um, which Meghan Markle normally does, well, according to the articles that I read, hanging abs, but since most of us probably don't have hanging abs, and it may be like all the way across the gym, so I'm not gonna make you do that, we're just gonna utilize the bench, okay? So, what you are going to do is you're gonna grab your bench, and if you're at home, you don't need the bench. You can do this on your yoga mat or on the carpet or wherever, it doesn't matter. So, you're gonna lie down, place the hands on the bench to stabilize yourself, lift the legs up like so, and we're gonna go ahead and do 20 double leg lifts, okay? Again, if you're on the mat, same thing, but lift your head, neck and shoulders up like this, or place the hands in a triangle underneath your tailbone. All right, pointing the toes, heels pressing. We are going down and lift. Now make sure your low back stays pressed into the bench, pressed into the mat, okay? You're gonna inhale down. You're gonna exhale up. Yes, very good. Inhaling down, exhaling up. My hands are helping to stabilize my body. I'm actually using um, my upper body strength to hold me in place. So you're working the entire body, but mostly the lower abs when you're doing this move. Down and up. Inhale, down and up. I am very impressed with this workout. Actually, very hard. Inhale, down and lots of cardio. And up, pointing the toes, straining the legs. You guys are doing so good. We're going down. We lift it up. You got five more. It's five. And up. And four. Press. Do not let any lower back space go under your back. Couple more. And last one. Let's make it good. We're going down. We're going up. And go ahead and bring yourself all the way up. Wow, you guys. Now, let's Let's even talk about this for a second. Um, first of all, this was a lot harder than I thought. Okay, so since we've been doing the celebrity workouts, I would have to say that the Kim Kardashian one for the butt was definitely the hardest lower body workout. But as of right now, the Meghan Markle arms and total body workout is pretty intense. And maybe it's because I chose some weights that are a little bit too heavy to be considered lightweight for 20 reps. Um, but either way, we got through it and it was difficult and I'm very proud of us. So you guys, give this video a thumbs up if you made it this far. Let me know in the comments below which celebrity workout you would like me to try next time. And um, again, you can do any of the celebrity workouts at home. You don't need a gym. You don't need a gym membership because I'm giving you all the modifications for the moves so that you can enjoy the same celebrity workouts as the celebrities. Um, thank you so much. I love you guys, and I will see you next time. Bye.